<laughs> so this is my harmonica thing that I do at the open mics um, as of recently. I guess it's actually a year and a half now or something where uh, I play a little harmonica and then I say something that's been on my mind or comes to mind and I play more harmonica and you'll see. That's what happens. So I never really know exactly what's going to come out when I start playing. So let's see. Let's see. I've been uh, going to therapy the last few months and um, dealing with my anxiety disorder and kind of had like a bit of a revelation today, I think, that like I always would get these stomach aches when I felt like I wanted to like retreat into my mind and like dissociate from the world. But today I had this feeling like maybe the stomach ache is what's actually trying to make me still be in this world like maybe it's the retreating that's causing it like my body's still trying to hold on and so instead of trying to retreat more I just tried to be more present and my stomach ache went away back home today um, I got stuck at 42nd Street Station because there were delays and people went on then train and they're like we're not going to Astoria and everyone went off and then people were talking to, to the conductor including myself and being like hey so you're not going to Astoria at all and it's like we're going there we'll go there eventually <laughs> and then like uh, this girl she was very attractive. This young lady came up to me and she said, what did he just say? And I said, well, he said that they're going to a story eventually. And she went, Psh! and she laughed and I laughed. And I said, I'm going to bet on the R train. Maybe it's better. And she's like, yeah, but that would take me like a half hour more to get home. And she walked away. And for a second, I had a thought in my head of just calling out and being like, hey, miss, you forgot to give me your number. But I didn't say something like that. Because I would never say something like that. Maybe I should have said something like that. I don't know. enough for now so this is my new harmonica my parents got it for my birthday it's a fender I thought they just made guitars but apparently they make harmonicas as well Product placement. and it's like harder to play but it has like a richer sound I used to play the clarinet. I was on a professional level. Yeah. But um, I was like, when I got to college, I was like, I don't want to play this anymore. And then... And you turned it into a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> no. My, my grandfather made that lamp. Um, he played the clarinet, and that's how I learned how to play and then a bunch of times I tried to learn the guitar because my dad plays the guitar. It's my favorite instrument. But it was hard, so I w would quit. <laughs> and then, like, a year and a half ago, my mom was like, 
what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, Mom, I'm like 34, I guess, at the time. I'm like, I, just get me whatever. And then, But I'm like, you know what? Actually, though, maybe get me a harmonica. And so they got me a harmonica. Because, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to try it. And I loved it. And so then, like, when I'm home sometimes and just watching TV or YouTube videos, I'll just, like, fiddle around with my harmonica. That's how the clarinet turned into the harmonica. <laughs> you needed a guitar in between. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>